So, we're on our next holiday. Esther's out taking Vinny for a toilet break. She's made some friends. Did you make some friends, Vinny? Did she do a pee? Hey? No. She didn't do anything? Alright, well you can come back inside then, Vinny, while we go to this place. This is why we bought a motorhome, because it's pouring rain outside, it's cold, it's miserable. And these are the days that I love having a motorhome, because um, when we had the caravan, you still had to go outside, you still had to put up the thing, you still had to open the door, you still had to unhook it, you still had to set it up. This is, you know, like, we just come inside, dry off. Motorhome's already warm because we were driving with the heater going, you know, and it's way better than the caravan, isn't it, Papa? Would you agree? So, what do you think, Vinny? Is this better than the caravan? I think it is. Yeah. Alright, so we'll shut the door and then we'll go to this Kalula Berries place, okay? So, we're at this Kalula Berries. I went here once before when we went for a ride on our motorbikes and the food was fantastic. So, I promised Esther I'd bring her back here one day and uh, in our motorhome. It's really... You wouldn't know this place is out. It's surprising to see so many people here because it's not really that well advertised and uh well unless they advertise it somewhere. But uh anyway. Kalula berries. If you want yummy pancakes with berries on them, this is the place. <coughs> what you reckon, Bob? We'll make a little video of what we're eating when we've ordered. What'd you head in there, Bob? Don't put your, bit, put your head in there. The little one or the big one? You big head or little head? <laughs> Alright. Hey puppy, what's your name? What flavour did you get? Berry. Huh? Berry. Berry? Yeah. Have a taste and tell me what it's like. Pretty good? That's good. What about the macadamia one? Oh, <laughs> joyful. Mm, yum. Right, we're coming go karting here now at. Eagle Farm, it's called um, Sideways, it's indoors, so um, yeah, we're going to go in here and check this out. We found a spot to park the motorhome out the back, which is good. So, are you ready to be a loser like that? So on the last race we had at the last track, I got Esther on the very last corner, on the very last lap. And I went past her and I went, loser, and she didn't know it was me until I gave her that signal. So, yeah, it was good. So, yeah, this is something different. Indoors, eh? Right, so we went inside and um, all the other go-kart tracks we've been to, we've never had to book anything. We just They just said rock up and do it. The car park's about half full and there's not that many people inside. But they said they've got no space they can't fit us in today. And, like, you know, we did drive an hour to come here and just to be told that we can't do it. So, um, it's a thumbs down for Eagle Park go-karting uh, sideways. Um, $72 per person for 20 minutes. The other kart tracks are around 40 to 50 And, uh, yeah, just if you're going to come here, don't come unless you book ahead because they'll turn you away at the door. It's a waste of time. So, anyway, we're going to go and try the Gold Coast. So now we're at a place called Kingston Park Raceway where they gave us the same deal um, or the, they gave us the, a different deal for the same price as the last place that turned us away and we didn't have to book or anything and we paid and this place uh, $140 we get to do four races they said it'll take us two hours to do the four races and yeah it's for the same price so we're going to give this joint a go Kingston Park Raceway Sounds like a lot better deal, doesn't it? What do you reckon? Esther? Yeah. Sounds like a good deal. So yeah, this is it. 
I'll do a quick video and then we'll go and register and do our thing. Hi. I rang you a bit earlier. I, yeah, I just just want to take a photo of it. Oh yeah, check this joint out. This is huge. Oh, that's what I want, one of them. That's what we'll be driving us to these things. They look a bit cool. Oh wow, look at all them. Got heaps of go-karts. Far out, right, man. There's heaps of people around here. What do you reckon of this place? Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Right, we've had three out of our four goes on the track. It's it's pretty good. Um, it's fast and it's uh, quite a tight track. It does 45 kilometres an hour. And so far, you're the loser. <laughs> but it's it's hard. the first cut I had went really fast, but the brakes kept getting stuck. Esther had it last go and. She um, it crashed a couple of times because she couldn't get the brakes to work. I um, I've come first in every race so far. I suppose That's it's the not. One we just did. Yeah, and these this is the other track, but I can only do it if I book it for a full session. Otherwise, you know, on a weekend they only do full sessions, which is I'm not going to do another four goes of that because this has taken two hours to do four goes, and I'm exhausted already. Eh? We've got one more go. So, but I'll give this a, maybe next time Ennis can come here, she can do the kids track and I'll do the grown up track because you've got to be over 16 for that one because it goes 70 kilometres an hour, which is pretty similar to the speed they do at the big cart track. So, uh, at the moment, big cart track's the best one. We booked in to go, we're going to the um, go kart track at, um, where is it? Narang on Tuesday to do the indoor multi story three level go kart track. So, we're going to give that a go on Tuesday. And, um, then we'll go from there to do um, the big car track and then we're going to work out which one we reckon is the best. Is that right? I oh, know. So we've done our four 15 minute sessions at the Kingston Park go-kart track. Hey? Six minutes, you reckon? And uh, yeah, I'm exhausted. It was, it was pretty good fun. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it to anyone if you want to race your kid and have a good time. And it's a lot of fun, um, but we still reckon big cart tracks better. Where we'll go day after tomorrow. Um, I think tomorrow I need a Chinese massage or something. My muscles are going to be aching from this. You know, the 45 k's an hour on a tight little track is pretty, pretty fast and pretty hard work. But it was fun. Esther will one day learn to drive better than me, and she'll be going loser, loser every time she overtakes me. <laughs> so we have arrived today at uh, go-karting Gold Coast sideways go-karting where we booked in to do this three level indoor go-karting track which is in there um, so it goes up and down three levels or something and you can only get into these places if you're pre-booked so because we tried going to one the other day and they turned us away because they were fully booked so we're first off the bat today we've got to go um, 9.30, Binny, you've got to go to the bathroom and hang out with you, yourself and I, with your treats. We don't trust you in here because you often pee and poop on furniture. So, you can hang out in the shower while me and Esther go and check these out. What do you reckon? Alright, we're here and we're inside now, so let's go up, Esther. Let's check it out. Game room in there. We don't need just game for an arcade, but we, we want to go karting. Right, let's check this out. I wonder what the floor is made of. It looks like rubber, like some sort of rubber sheeting. Anyway, driver's bay. Oh, yeah, this is it. Check this out. Look, this looks awesome, doesn't it? How good does this look? You know, there's our go karts over there. Three stories. Wow, this is going to be different. What do you reckon? This will be something different, won't it? You reckon you might enjoy this one? Cool. Ah, it looks pretty good. Pretty good, eh? Uh, how do you think about it? Oh, yeah. So how was it this time?
time. Did you have fun? Did you lose? Did I beat you? We don't tolerate bumping. It's not fun. Everyone thinks you're a... Were you going sideways? Yeah, it's fun, eh? Did you enjoy this one? But the big car track's better, isn't it? You can go really sideways. But yeah, still, still the most fun is the big car track, isn't it? Would you agree? Yeah. The big car track's still the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of fun. It was something different, but I think we'll stick with the big car track. But the only downside I thought was they don't let them rev out properly. They just go bit, 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 bit. So you can't you can't make it go full throttle, you know. And and also the seat, my ass just fit in the seat, and there was people look bigger than me, and I don't know how their asses fit in the seat, but they did. But yeah. So, our final thoughts on the uh, sideways go-karting place. We did, um, um, I did 29 laps, Esther did 28 laps, and the person who came first, the computer, reads it really weird, she only did 12 laps and she came first. So, it goes somehow on how many laps you do. The more laps you do, the further down you go. So, I came last because I did 29 laps, but I was actually going the fastest. And uh, that's why I did 29 and everyone else did 28 or less because I was in front and ahead. But anyway, what are your final thoughts? Would you come back here? Yeah. I wouldn't because um, my ass barely fit in the seat and my ass is not that wide. My ass is not that wide, see? It's only a, a foot wide, a foot and a half. So as you could see, my ass isn't that wide. And there was a couple of ladies there, their asses were twice as wide as mine. And mine didn't fit, mine barely fit in the seat. They're like mini go-karts. So final thoughts. It was fun, but for $144 for 20 minutes, um, it was um, okay, but because they're governed and they've got like a remote control switch like the last place we had, where they can slow your go-kart down. So mine was just backfiring and missing the whole time. So it kind of sucked because it wouldn't go fast. And then when they did one of the stops, the red light comes on and everyone just stops because they hit the um, remote control that there's an accident or something. Um, when they turned it back on, I had full throttle for like a couple of seconds and it took off and then all of a sudden they hit the button and it went blah, 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 so it backed off so it's overall I wouldn't come back again because it's a long way for us to go um, the track wasn't very long the big kart track is way way more fun we checked out extreme karting yesterday they're closed something to do with the floods I think um, so they're not even open you can't even go there um, we did the other go-kart track and the little go-karts and um, they were fun but gave me a really sore back they were even smaller than these go-karts and um, it was I think the other track for me was more fun the one you didn't like the one at Kingston um, and then the bigger carts at Kingston you can't do unless you're over 16 but the same go-karts are at the um, big cart track on a bigger way bigger track and you can do it at over the age of 12 so um, we're gonna go back there it's pouring rain today the big carts track said that they still race in the rain so we might do that today um, have a lap in the rain because I'd like Esther to experience what it's like to drive on a wet road because for me this is all about teaching her how to become a good driver so I don't have to worry about it when she grows up um, because you often hear of people who you know young teenagers dying because they just don't know how to drive where are we Big and what are we doing racing in the rain right it's wet out there so, oh, that guy slid out already down there. You know, he just started. It's going to be fun in the rain. <laughs> Racing in the rain at the big car track. Well, we've done all the tracks. Gold Coast. Oh, there's a big puddle there. I'm going to splash Esther. And I've uh, done all the tracks on the last few, last four or five days, and this is the best track and the best go-karts. 
Now, and for 15 minutes, $90. All the ones down the Gold Coast cost us around 150 bucks a go. Right, oh, you sideways? <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy it this time. And see if he loses it. He's <laughs> going cautiously into the corner. <laughs> Yep, they're very cautious. <laughs> well, that won't be me though. Oh yeah, they're taking out the sharp, really sharp corner. So we just did the go cut. We just did the go kart track. It's saturated. We are soaked. That's to said it's a waste of good dry clothes. Well, <laughs> I'm saturated. Um. But that was so much fun. I spun out so many times and full big drifts sideways and all that. And you know what? It still works for me, that trick, pulling the brake lever back. It's still got me to go faster. Tell me when it's going. So yeah, I had a great time. We've done all the go-kart tracks now. Yep, come over here a bit. Yeah. And of all the go-kart tracks in Gold Coast, Brisbane, this is the best one. So, and it's best value for money, longest track. Um, I'm saturated, I had a ball, that was well worth the, the $45 each for that 15 minutes. So, cool. Right, look at I'm absolutely soaked. <laughs> but I'm smiling. So yeah, big car track, if you want a good fun, rain, hail or shine, it's fun. <laughs>